Welcome to Bikes, Boats, and Bivouacs. Today, we're going to review my 2014 Polo Craft 1460 Tinny, the aluminum boat. And we're going to break in the new motor, the Yamaha motor. So I bought this boat in the wintertime, uh, so I got to get this ready and prepare it. And I'll show you uh, what we did with the boat. It is the Polo Craft 1460. So it's 14 feet long and it's five feet wide. And I'll show you some of the gear that we're gonna carry on the boat. I always carry a, a throwable PDF. Strong box that includes safety equipment like uh, flares, flare gun, um, radio, um, the registration for the boat, all that, that has to stay dry. This box will stay dry if it goes over. I attach a cord to this and tie it to the boat so if something happens, that doesn't float away. Always have a first aid kit with. Uh, you never know, you know, I remember when I was little, fishing with my brother, he hooked me in the knee. <laughs> so, always have to have some safety gear. We need a series of dock lines so we can get it in and off the trailer and also tied up at the ramp over at the lake. So I usually take three with me, one for the bow, one for the stern, and then one extra one if I'm launching the boat myself. I tie two of these together and put it on the bow and I back the boat into the water and it floats off the trailer and then I get the line and tie it off. So that allows me to launch the boat by myself. I also always have an anchor with me. Uh, so there's a hundred feet of anchor line and you can see the Danforth anchor that we use. Now this motor is a four horse Yamaha. Yamaha's four through six horsepower motor is exactly the same. The only difference is the carburetor. And when I bought this as a leftover, I got an extended warranty. So it has a six year warranty on it, or five year warranty on it. Uh, and you can run fuel uh, from the internal tank, or you can hook your line in here to an external tank. So I like to run the external tanks. I, you know, it, reduces the potential fuel spillage if you're trying to fill the uh, small tank up while you're out on the water and we don't want to do that to the environment. So this is a much cleaner way to use this motor. It is a four stroke motor and we will be breaking this in over at the lake today. So the break in procedure for the Yamaha four through six horsepower is the first hour you run it at half speed, the second hour you run it up to three quarter speed. And then the next eight hours, you can run it at varying speeds, including wide open, but uh, can't be um, more than a few minutes at wide open. So that's the braking procedure that we're gonna go through uh, with this motor. Uh, and you can see I have it mounted on the boat now. A couple other things to keep in mind from a safety perspective. The drain plug, of course you want that in <laughs> before you enter the water but I have it attached to the boat so it can't go overboard. And then really important, the torque of a motor, if it's not tightened down on the transom of the boat, that torque, when you turn real fast, could drive the motor right off the boat and into the water. And then it's in Davy Jones locker. Use a device to keep your handles from turning once you have it tightened. You don't want them to loosen up while you're you know, out on the water. So what I do is there's a little hook, a little hook on the motor here. So I hook a chain to that and I drilled a hole and bolted it through there. So if this would come loose, this motor is not going to fall into the water. So that's, uh, that's some of the safety stuff that I do to make sure you know, we're not gonna lose gear. Well, it does have forward and reverse on the motor. 
and it does have a choke. It's a four stroke. So uh, this thing sips fuel and has an oil reservoir rather than mixing gas and oil like a uh, two stroke. It does have a load right trailer. That makes it easy. And of course you see they are bunkers. So I can unhook it and then back it into the water. If that were a rolling trailer and I did that, it might roll off onto the pavement before I get to the water. So be careful when you're dropping your boat in. If you have a roller trailer, you gotta be a little more careful than if you have a bunker trailer. Uh, but you can see, it's hooked up and ready. So you can come with me as we try it out. Hey, the motor's running. So we're gonna run the first hour and no more than 50% power. And then the second hour at 75% power. And then after that, we'll vary it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free, it helps me out a lot. Also ring that bell and you'll be notified every time I put out a new video. And give the video a thumbs up, that helps also. But more important than all that, go have some fun out there. Thanks for watching.